you star code Brambi. Hey everyone, so usually when I see realistic pools or ponds in Bloxburg, this is what I see. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that, however, it does not look as realistic as it can look. And it kind of just looks a little bit weird if you just see that in random places. So in today's video, I'm going to try and help you make a more realistic pond if you're looking to make one or looking to get better at making ponds in your backyard. And I don't know why, I'm usually pretty bad at doing like gardening stuff, but making ponds and making like rock type of formations <laughs> is something that I really like doing and I don't know why that is, but uh, anyways, let's get started with this build. So first of all, what you want to do, you want to draw out your space. So you want to draw where you want your pool to go. You don't want to make a square. You don't want to make it look like something. I mean, if that's the aesthetic that you're going for, like that's completely fine. But today we're making a realistic or natural pond. Like if you want to make something square, you can totally go ahead and do that. Of course, like I'm not saying <laughs> that it's bad. It's just like for this video, I'm going to try and make something more natural. So I'm just drawing some diagonal shapes out with the plain marking that we have in Bloxburg. And this is where I want my pool to be. Now, first of all, what you want to do is you want to create a basement, actually. Now, same thing with the rocks that I showed earlier. Of course, you do need advanced placing for this. I think that's pretty logical. And for most builds nowadays, you do need advanced placement, sadly. So if you don't have that, I am terribly sorry. What I'm doing now is just placing walls to where I want my pool to be. So I have my home, my toggle roofs is on so that I can see the plain marking that I just placed. And now I'm just kind of like a puzzle adding walls to where I put these lines. Now, the reason I created a basement is because we are going to work with basic shapes. So first of all, to test it out, I place one tester block. I drag it to the height I want. So as I said, I'm not going to make a pool that is too deep. I want it to be something like this, where you can swim. Let me actually lower it a little bit where you can swim, but it's also not too deep and not too scary. I'm gonna have a deeper part in the middle later, but not now. And then I also paint usually the floor of my pools like in a brown or a dark color so that the pool water looks a little bit more natural and a little darker. We could do something like that, but what I like to do on the bottom of my pool is use something like slate, just a natural type of material. And then I remove the basement that I just placed. Oh, you actually get a warning now. There are items left in this basement that will stay below ground unless you sell them first. Well, continue. Then we go to the pool. I take out the shallow pool maybe first to see how that would look. As you can see, my, my basic shape mm, is a little too deep for the shallow pool. So we're going to have to go with the classic pool. And that seems to work out perfect for my basic shape. I can actually even make it a little bit deeper. So I'm under the water now. I can make it a little bit deeper. And this is where I'm going to end up with. Again, adding the basement like we had before. I'm not saying this is cheap but it is worth it. <laughs> and then with the basic shape, just placement grid large. And then you just make sure to fill all the gaps, but also make sure that there is no overlap because if you have overlap, as you can see, your floor will glitch out. So right now, just placing everything at the bottom, making it look all the same height, apparently. I'm actually not gonna add a deeper area in the middle. We can manage that. And actually, I should have added some basement here, but it looks all right. We have filled everything up. And maybe right here, I'm gonna make a very, very shallow part. This is where the entrance of the water is. And to make it look not as squared off as it is right here, I'm just gonna go into garden and play around with some rocks and some stones. For example, this rock right here, I can place that right here and then drag that out a little bit, something like that, just to add more to the natural vibe. And another thing I want to do in the very shallow area is add some plants. For example, these cattails look really nice. I love those. So we're gonna place a bunch of those. Now, these have quite big hitboxes, as you can see. So that's something to keep in mind as well. And I'm also going to place some rocks to the side, but not all the same rock like I showed in the beginning of this video, because that's really going to mess this build up. Just adding some rocks to the side here. You can basically add any plant underwater. It will look okay if you do that. So definitely try some things and have fun with it, I guess. What I love most when it's like partly underwater is these um, grasses. I like to paint them in a carpet material and then give them different shades of green, something like this. And then just to add some finishing touches to the underground, I'm just gonna add some more of these grasses. 
They look really nice underwater, so it's definitely worth getting though. This is a cool one to add in your pond as well, just a dead tree, and then size it down as much as you can. And then in some areas, I like to add the plain ramp to the side of the pool. But as you can see, it doesn't always look perfect, so you really need to be careful with where you add it. But sometimes I think it's pretty cool to have that inside your pool and then mix it in with some rocks. And then something else I like to do is add garden lights right under your grass. So I paint it in like a green color first or a dark green color first. And then I place it in these grass patches that I created just to add more to like the pool vibe or the pond vibe. You can also add something like a log, for example, if you add this beveled horizontal cylinder, you can drag that out a little bit, drag that up a little bit, give it that bark material painted brown, something like this. That could totally work as well. You can also add, if I find them right here, vines to the side of your pool. I'm gonna do that right here in the corner. I want this to be like a greenish area. Of course, you can go as detailed as you want with this. I'm not gonna over detail this time. I'm just explaining how all of this works. And then some more rocks to cover up the bottom part of this pool. And then if you wanna continue, you can always resize different types of plants this one smaller, make this one really tall so that it comes out of the pool. Same thing over here, very important for the ones that will come out of the pool to have some different sizes because otherwise it might not look as natural as you want it to look. And then I'm gonna paint all of my rocks in dark stone gray. I like that color. Then for the sides, I'm gonna use these groutless bricks, but that's completely up to you as to what you want. So it's gonna be quite a big pool, as you can see. I may have been a bit too enthusiastic, but uh, yes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add some more lights at the rocks or something, just to at least have some light in the water. Then to finish it all off, you want to delete the basement that you have just created, like all of it. And it can be quite hard to do when you have basic shapes. Like sometimes you really have to get in a corner to delete it, but it is worth it in the end, I promise. One tip I could give you is to make your basement actually larger or zoom in through top view. But right now I kind of ruined it for myself by uh, making the basement only as big as the basic shapes. But as you can see, it's still working just a little bit harder. Okay, now that all of that's done, this is what our pool looks like. What you want to do then is go back to the pools. I'm taking the classic pool, but you could take whatever you want and kind of make up the areas. You want to make sure everything under the trim that we placed is in the pool but to not spend too much money we're actually gonna watch out just a little bit because yes and now i'm just dragging areas around what you want to do then is go to floor manual placement and then you want to connect every one of the open areas behind the trim that you placed go to paint and paint it in the color of your grass so the normal grass color is camo and give it the grass material we copy this go back to manual placement and now we just go around the pond and fill up all of the areas that we have left over now to cover up the sides that we have created i wouldn't remove them either you paint them in the sides of your pool like this, or you paint them in the grass color that you just used. I like to use the same color as my grass just to make it look more like it's just there, you know? I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> also, before I forget to mention for the sides of the pond, you can also use, um, I think it's in garden, this rock wall right here. If you place that, as you can see, it will create a rock wall inside of your pool. I kind of like that. Love to use it for waterfalls though, which I will get back to in just a minute. Now, as I said, I want to make a waterfall. Now you do need the waterfall for that, or you use the sprayers, but that's kind of a little bit weird sometimes. I mean, there is a way to invert them, but it's really hard to do. But if you have the tall waterfall from build mode in block box and place that then go to garden we don't want any like flat looking walls if that makes any sense then this rock wall you can come from behind it so that it pops out just a little bit as you can see the results are not amazing sometimes you can push it a little further but this is as far as we're gonna get right now all right so this is our waterfall of course the bottom looks a little bit weird so we're gonna have to fix that by taking some rocks again and then you can use these stepping stones actually resize them a little bit and if we make this I don't know if this is gonna work, but if we use a new material and we paint it like a dark blue color, I mean, it could kind of work. I could see it work. Add some plants to the side, if we can still do that. And I also like to use these compact bushes right here to cover up like edges and stuff because sometimes your edges will kind of take off of the um, naturalness of the build that you have created. 
And what I like to do to finish off the waterfall is I go into my roof, taking the Manzer roof, and then just kind of creating my own mountain, something like this maybe. And I messed it up, of course. Okay, I'm gonna actually do something else. So we have the walls here already. I'm just gonna create like a little shape that I can go against. I mean, this could be, this could be cool. Okay, so something like that then, if we drag that up, move it down a little bit. Again, painting the sides in slate because that's what we're using now. And the top, I'm gonna do my grass, my natural grass color, my camo, and I'm just covering up where the waterfall is. On top, I'm gonna place some flooring. And you could actually make a secret room in here with like crystals and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then that one I'm gonna paint in the grass material and color. Of course, if you want to really add a mountain, you can add another layer on top, not make it too high, something like that. And then down here as well, you can make another layer if you wish to do so, just so that it's really walled in. So something like this maybe. And then if you want to cover this part up a little bit, I'm going to go into electronics. I'm gonna add a fog machine. I'm gonna really try and hide it behind here, if that's possible. We're gonna aim it at the waterfall. Same thing over here, gonna hide a fog machine in here to cover up a bit of like the water that's coming down. Same thing going into garden, taking out some trees, whatever trees you want to place and you can place them everywhere basically if you wish to do so. If you want to add a little pond on top, you can totally go ahead and do so with basic shapes or whatever. But I like to think it comes out of the mount like a little underground waterfall type of thingy. Make sure when you place your trees, you actually just rotate each of them just a little bit so that they're not all facing the same direction. And yes, this one does take up a lot of space. You don't need to add the waterfall and stuff like that if you just want to make a normal, realistic looking pool. And just like adding some more uh, grass plants and stuff like that around. And usually I make the trees on top of my hill a little bit shorter than the trees at the bottom just to get some more leveling. And then of course we can start adding in the new furniture from the update that we had, which is such nice furniture. I'm actually so happy that we got that. And I'm gonna add one more roof on this side as well, because I do think that this side is looking a little bit strange. Now going out of build mode, the water is very reflective now because it's 1 p.m. Make it a little bit later, it looks better already. And then if you take a swim, and that is the nice part, if you go and take a swim and then you go underwater, you can see all of the things that we have created. And it's just like, got some grass around you and stuff like that. And overall it's just nice. And this is like a little relaxing area. I should have added chairs underneath this log right here because it's actually really nice to sit on. But like here you can just sit. And if you have like a baby in a roleplay or a toddler, this is like a nice area for them to play in. While you like swim in the deeper part of the pool. And overall, this is looking more realistic than just adding the same stone over and over next to your pool. I'm not saying that this is perfect because I am not the best builder, but I did want to give you some tips and I know some of you will recreate this way better than I did. So just wanted to show you some tips on how to make a better and more realistic pool. And I hope some of these things, like for example, adding basic shapes to your pool you didn't know yet or were something that you learned and will use. I hope this video helped you in any type of way like that. Anyways, Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.